In September 2018, New Zealand's Fullerton Markets announced its move to St Vincent and the Grenadines. Mario Singh is Fullerton's founder and CEO. Mario, why the move? Well, Paul, it's a great question. I get that question a lot. Many people will be saying, Mario, you're one of the forefront in leading the entire brokerage industry. Why would you move all right, from a regulated environment to a less regulated environment, which is essentially what St Vincent and the Grenadines is? And here's the real answer, Paul. The key thing is that the entire financial world is moving in lightning seconds every single day. To some extent, I do find that regulation, while it has its place, has become what I would term as fairly restrictive and fairly reactive. So I wanted to take a proactive stance in how we would engage the markets. So by moving to a little bit more relaxed jurisdiction, it allowed the business to keep our competitive edge for us to be fairly nimble in how we move and provide more innovative solutions for all our clients worldwide. But at the same time, Paul, with our Fullerton Shield, we're able able to raise the standards of fund safety. I understand it also gives you a good platform to do more work in Asia, where World Finance has recognised you as the best FX broker for 2019. Tell me about the potential in that market. Paul, absolutely immense. Asia today commands about 4.5 billion in terms of population. Now that is easily 60 to 70 percent of the entire world population. And Asia is slightly different in a sense that in all the countries within Asia, Different people speak different languages. So I think getting the local culture right is absolutely of paramount importance. So a lot of things that we do, Paul, we tend to localize them. That's including um, hiring local trainers. It includes translating all our materials. It includes even our support team that are able to type in the local language. This is where it gets a little bit uh, complicated, but anyone who is able to pay the price, Paul, in terms of engaging local knowledge and local culture would win the game. And we are absolutely at the forefront of doing that in Asia. So how are you going to be approaching that challenge? What does the next five years look like in terms of your footprint in Asia? So one of the key things I think is really to identify in terms of how the, the area itself is currently growing. People in Asia, they're very driven. They're very hardworking. They're very ambitious. They definitely want to get to the next level. So trying to design innovative products that's going to allow our clients to basically increase their financial knowledge is of paramount importance, number one. Number two, I feel that many of them in Asia today are having high disposable income. So at the same time, Paul, you know, having personalized service in ensuring that we can cater, all right, to give them certain solutions of how they are able to park their disposable income. These two prong approach, I think is absolutely necessary for us to, to win the game over the next five years. We'll catch up in five years. Mario, thank you very much. Thank you, Paul, for having me. Click now to watch more from Mario on Fullerton's innovative partner services and the company's triple level fund safety program. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe for the latest international business insights from worldfinance.com.